Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Jersey. Uh, what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be trying to work out a camera stand for what I hope will be a series for the rest of this channel. Uh, and uh, we're just going to try and fabric cobble it together with some uh, some pieces from the home despot and uh, whatever else I can find around the shop. Um, got rather too much PVC pipe here, maybe some fittings, threaded rod, a Pixel 3 XL from my Pixel 2 XL. Uh, that is the most expensive thing here by far. Some PVC fittings, these things, uh, 3 16 by 1 inch flat bar, and a little piece that I, you can see I at some point in time uh, very skillfully and very concentrically put these two holes in, but that's uh, kind of handy for my purposes at the moment. Um, so we'll see if we can use that. So first things first, we need to get a hole in this case uh, so we can mount it from the thing. And for that, we need a hole just about exactly there. We can get this to mark. It's got this uh, sort of soft little plastic thing there, but uh, we'll see if it'll take a hole. So what we've got here is a um, very cheap drill press. Uh, 3 16 inch bit in... I'm assuming that's Chinese for Jacob's Chuck. Um, and uh, very high quality switch work there. Um, so let's get her turning. Oh, ho, ho. Tools work better when you plug them in. Okay, here we go. Uh, good and fuck now. Hup, hup. Don't know if you can see this, but uh, the screw stands just a little bit proud of the uh, plastic there. So I'm gonna try and gonna try and put in a uh, slight chamfer. All right, here's hoping we don't just go right the way through the fucker. So, uh, despite my enormous skill, uh, I think we've got a result here. The uh, screw's in there pretty good, and it will should hold the weight it needs to. So, um, so what we're going to do is use the flat bar here to hold this up. Um, and it's just going to sit right about there with the through hole going through it. So, we'll get that cut. Okay, sorry you had to miss all that hot angle grinder action there. But uh, without something to hold the camera, I really couldn't... Um, operate the angle grinder. So uh, here you go and I'll grind these to shape uh, that you also won't see. After a brief argument these are uh, roughly to size so let's talk about the overall plan here. Uh, this is going to be the flat portion of it here that goes just about there on the phone with a through hole and these are going to stand off of it like this and form a clevis that will mount to another piece of 3 16 like that but you know between them and making sense um, so the idea will be to have this quarter 20 wing nut here go between these two between these two and tighten up the clevis so what we're going to do is try and keep these together while we drill them and uh, the way we're going to do that is one needs to be a through hole the other needs to be a tapped hole so we're going to clearance the the tap hole size and then go back and widen out the second one. So this is less or more the uh, service configuration here. Um, put everything through the bead blaster just to get rid of the mill scale uh, so it's going to stand about like that and we're just going to weld that with some 6011 um, stick welding that I don't think I'm going to be able to put a camera on a little out of practice with the stick welder and that's pretty poor but it should be able to hold up the uh, ounces of weight that will that it's uh, due to service in so good enough for the girls i date so this will move it on to the uh, sort of 
more business end, and maybe this will start making a little more sense. Uh, the entire idea is that the uh, the camera rides on, say, this little sticky out bit here, down that, and that's uh, cooling off in the blaster right now. And you got a sort of right angle section here. Uh, I'm going to tap and drill and tap some sections here to uh, to put some brakes on this, and then this slides in and out on a boom. So we're going to do that part now. So I've just ground a little flat there to give myself a fighting chance at getting a straight hole in there. Give it a little lube. Okay, change of plans. Don't know if you can see it right there, but that is really thin walls. So we're uh, going to get it best. Uh, I got a couple of threads there, so that's not really going to work so well. So we're going to move over here to this fatter section of it, uh, reground and recenter punch that, and then we'll uh, give that a go. So this plane isn't going as swimmingly as I would have hoped. Uh, first of all, you can see that this is nowhere near on center. Uh, this one, it just the, the depth of that flange uh, was just not nearly enough. I got into drilling and I was like, this just isn't happening. Uh, but we've got a little better hole on this one. We'll see if we can get a tap to take. And, um, well, these really don't need to hold that much load. So as long as they don't, uh, don't put too much torque on them, they shouldn't just rip the taps right out. And we'll deal with what we got. Okay, it ain't pretty, but... Takes a good bit of force to pull these through. A uh, little result of this is that this is out of uh, out of alignment here, but uh, I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. Uh, moving on to the next step. So this is the main boom arm, and it is half inch PVC. And uh, those of you not familiar with the t material will know that it is very, very rigid. Uh, but we're going to try and up the rigidity some more. Uh, we're going to pack in some, uh, some ground leveling stuff that I just have here for women. And I thought I could actually level this mess out here. You can see that there. And it was an abysmal failure. But I have a bunch of it sitting around the shop. So we'll give it a go. Okay, so some time's passed, and uh, turns out this wasn't such a great idea. We're going to try and come up with something else. In the meantime, I do have the phone in the case here, and we're going to see if we can use that to hold up the uh, next shot of this welding here. Okay, I was just with the uh, cheapo flux core arc welder, uh, worst welder you can buy probably, uh, but things like this, it can get the job done. So I just ground back the welds there to hide my shame, um, and not too bad, it'll hold. So that's less or more the idea of that portion of the work. So what we've got to do now is <coughs> shake the camera around a bunch. Um, put this little guy here, there, 
So that will mount on the end of this tube here that will articulate in that uh, right angle joint there. And there you have it. It's a little nut there on the bottom just to keep it square because the focus so weld certainly doesn't do that so moving on to the uh, wall end of the boom uh, this is that very well drilled uh, 3 16 by 1 inch bar and what we're going to do is use this end of the PVC thing here with some threaded rod that's just exactly the right size for it as far as I can tell I didn't know I was going to be making precision cuts two years in advance um, so we'll cut down the threaded rod, uh, grind it, because I know all the newfangled magazines say it's great to breathe all the zinc fumes when you weld uh, this kind of galvanized material, but um, I'm going to grind it down like my mama told me to. So uh, we'll get started on that. Idiot. Idiot. So change of plans. Um, I knew I wasn't going to have very good access to uh, to the back here to put these in there. So those holes that I had such high hopes for ended up not being the thing that I needed. Um, so what I'm going to do, or what I decided to do, is cut out these little uh, ears here to put a three eighths inch lag bolt through um, into yonder wall. Uh, but couldn't really figure out where to put them. I was going to put them maybe one side and the other, and then I was like, well, just put them straight in line with it. That way it'll work, and 
you know, just go straight into the wall. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, just put two of these things here. And if I was smart about it, I would have just cut the bar longer because, I mean, I have plenty of it left and there's just oodles of it over there. Um, so let's get this welded. So this is the setup here. It's bolted to the wall. And you can see the boom goes out here like this to the to the right angle section down here and then the phone is held there like this. I uh, made one change here. I um, welded in this little right angle section here because it just makes a lot more sense for how the how the cam or how the camera should be pointing at any given time. Um, but you can see the uh, main boom is pretty flippy floppy. So I'm going to uh, use some wire and a turnbuckle to uh, pull that into level. So I was just going to drill a hole there for the one side of the turnbuckle to sit in. And that was going great until the drill bit just snapped right half in two there. And um, I don't really feel like getting it out. So I've just gone with a different size and I think I'm just going to go a little bit further over from that. So that's that done. Um, Ideally, this would be coaxial to the uh, to the main boom turning axis, but I can't be bothered, so this should work fine. And this gives me a chance to break my swaging tool out. Uh, bought this for making a stabilization thing for the air compressor. Uh, platform there and um, needed it to do a similar turnbuckle application um, but this is only the second time I've used it so uh, maybe 10 more times and it'll be paid for yeah remember when I said that it should probably be fine not so much so I can get it to take tension and you know hold the boom straight and that's all well and good if we're this side of it oh dear but coming to this side it's got an auto return feature um, so that means that this has to be directly on center with this and there's just no meat there for putting this here so I am going to have to think about that for a second so the answer was just to burn this uh, washer in here um, yeah see how that works that's it there not quite happy with it because the uh, didn't do a very good job of making the threaded rod sit plumb. So there's a fairly limited range of degrees it can stay on without returning to center. So got to deal with that until I can find some solution for that. In the meantime, I think I can use it to get the shot I want for most of this kind of work, which should look like this. For the most part, this is the sort of shot I'd like to show, working on things on the bench. And we'll see how the rest of it works out. All right, that's probably it for the video. Um, amazed you sat through it. Uh, probably pretty terrible. Uh, I'll try better next time.